Triple E EDC back again with another knife video. This is the Benchmade 945, basically the Mini 940. Now, obviously last year they came out with the 945 BK-1, and this was a knife that was released uh, to very, very positive reception. I had a good review on it, and uh, you know I, I'm very, very, very happy that they released this. However, I was confused as to why they released this version first instead of this version. Um, and so the reason is, is because the original 940 had the green handles and a purple motif on the back so that's sort of what this has although this is a little bit different than what the original 940 was so um, let's go ahead and do some size comparisons uh, so that you guys can see uh, some of the similarities and differences so this is the uh, Benchmade 940 and just because we end up having a you know a little perspective difference you can see um, because my camera's at an angle, you can see two 940s here and how it compares to the 945. Um, I'm also going to put up, let's see, how about a bug out? And here's the Mini Adamus. And here is a Griptilian, full size Griptilian. Here is a Mini Freak. And a Super Freak. So you can see this is uh, slightly smaller than the Super, than, than the Mini Freak, I should say. And then let's do some non bench maids. How about the Spider Co. PM2? And the Pair of three. This is a lightweight version. Okay, that should be enough size comparisons uh, for now. I think that covers most of what um, a lot of people would carry. Uh, let, actually, let's go ahead and do uh, Civivi. How about the Brazen? The new Brazen. Here you go, just to give it a budget option. Okay, so let's talk about this knife right off the bat. So interestingly, what they did was they took sort of a combination of the different motifs. So the original 940 has aluminum handles, purple titanium backspacer, full backspacer, and the uh, Benchmade clip here, the original sort of uh, three-hole Benchmade clip, right? This is a black, bla black bladed version comes in satin too. This version right here is the REI version. It's the REI exclusive. The REI exclusive has G10 scales with the same green motif, same purple motif on the back, but these are backspacers instead of, I'm sorry, a standoffs instead of a regular, a full backspacer, but they're purple. And so this is sort of a combination of the two. This is aluminum scales, green, green aluminum, same as the 940 but you have the purple standoffs. So I, fi I find it a little bit interesting that they did that. Um, they also put on the mini, uh, uh, what do you call this, the arrow clip. So I know people uh, have some stuff to say about the clip and the way it's shaped, but um, I, I like the original arrow clip and it carries well. I never had a problem with it. Uh, and you can always replace it with a different clip and all Benchmade clips are sort of interchangeable for the most part. So. Uh, that's a, a plus there. I will say that on these mini 940s, um, based on where your hand falls, I have a large glove size hand, you're going to want not a deep carry clip because a deep carry clip will um, put the, the flare out of the clip too far into this side, this part of your palm, so it's not going to feel comfortable. Uh, I think it's much more comfortable to have the mini uh, arrow clip rather than the mini deep carry clip or the full size deep carry clip for that matter. So that's sort of the design motif on that and I thought that was interesting. Um, also, the uh, this is the first production by the way. Um, this has S30V steel, just like the originals, which is great. Uh, S30V is a good combination of um, the different properties in steel, edge, edge holding, uh, toughness, ease of sharpening, and, um, uh, and corrosion resistance. So, Let's go ahead and take a look at um, the 
thickness of the blades because interestingly, the 945 is actually uh, slimmer. You can, I don't know if you can see, but it's ever so slightly slimmer, the, the blade, uh, than this one, which means that this is going to be a little slicier than your normal 940. A lot of complaints people have about the normal 940 is that it's too thick behind the edge. And so this is actually a little bit thinner behind the edge than the original 940. Let's see if I can get both of these in the picture here. I don't know if you can tell, but it is slightly thinner behind the edge, which is very nice. Um, now, one of the other nice things, one of the nice things about the 940, I like larger knives, and it gives on my uh, large glove size hands a full four finger grip, and it's sort of a perfect size for that four full, full finger, four finger grip, full four finger grip. So on the 945 here, this also gives my large glove size hands a full finger grip. Now, it's a little bit, you, you definitely feel the end of the, the knife here, but you're not really left wanting, right? For a small knife, this actually fits very, very well in hand and gives you great control all the way through. Uh, so I think this is extremely well designed. Uh, I actually like the feel of the aluminum better than G10, uh, pretty much all around. Uh, and so I, I prefer that on my uh, regular 940s too. I prefer the, the aluminum to the G10. Um, so if you are someone who prefers the aluminum to the G10, uh, this actually is a really, really nice finish on here. Benchmade does a great job with their aluminum. It has sort of a chalky, uh, chalky feel, which gives some texturing, so it's not slick like some other aluminum that you can get from other companies. So I'm very happy with that. Uh, I'll give you an example of aluminum that's slick. Let's see if I have it here. So yeah, so this is aluminum from Kershaw. Uh, I think this is the Epistle. So this is actually very, there's, there's almost no grip on this. It's very slippery in hand. I mean, it, there, luckily there's some finger grooves in here that locks your hand in, but if you didn't have that, it's actually very, very slippery. Whereas this has a chalky feel and um, really gives a nice purchasing grip. And you have some nice positive jimping right here on the back as well. Uh, which locks your hand in, so I I, I like that quite a bit. Um, the uh, I, although I like to rest my thumb up here, so um, in any event, uh, this has great action, just like any other Benchmade. Um, really uh, zero up and down play, um, no no real side to side play either, which is great um, because I know that's an issue on some Benchmades uh, with the axis lock. Really, not just Benchmades, really any axis style lock uh, these days. Now that the patents expired. Um, so the action on this is great, you know, as you can see, and uh, even with no blade play, uh, it really drops shut, just like any other axis lock knife, which is really nice. Uh, so I'm very, very happy with that. Um, yeah, just a great all-around offering from Benchmade. Uh, great job, you know, bringing a classic to, to light. I, uh, I'm not sure I love the choice of, you know, I would have liked to see this this full-size backspacer to evoke the original. Um, but I understand why they did what they did here. It, it lightens the knife a little bit. It's a smaller knife. They might not have had, um, you know, the, they, they might have had to machine some different things in order to make that work. Uh, so I get it. And, you know, it sort of fits something they already did with the REI exclusive anyway. So, uh, you know, I don't blame them for it. And I think otherwise, this is, this is a great knife. Uh, 175 bucks right now. Um, I'm going to post a link for uh, DLT, uh, DLT Trading. Um, I'm not sure if they have them in stock as, at the time this video is going to be released, but um, if not, they'll have them in stock shortly after. Uh, and uh, if you purchase through the link, it helps out the channel, helps out my... Uh, um, and I can also do a whole bunch of giveaways through the channel that way. So that's, uh, that's great. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, appreciate, you, appreciate you. And if you, uh, you know have this knife or want to leave a comment, let me know what you think of it. Drop that below. Uh, always happy to read the comments. Thanks so much.